at Strathclyde, social work classes are small. They only take in a small number of students every year. So we don't have that lecture hall experience. Ours is very classroom, um, but it's one hour. Well, it's technically 50 minutes and it's 50 minutes of the lecturer barely taking a breath. Um, they go through the presentation slide start to finish. Um, they, you're not allowed to ask a single question um, and they do not ask any questions either. So they just spend that time throwing all this information at you. It's hard to take any notes. But if you hear or hear a word or hear a phrase or hear something that you don't understand, then take that down and look it up. That's what we've learned to do. Um, one of the things we've managed to get them to change is upload the presentation slides because they put so much information on them, on the PowerPoints. Um, so that helps. So now they've started doing that, which helps all the students kind of coming up after us as well. Um, but before that, they never used to upload the presentation. So it was all kind of guesswork. Um, so my experience is, is quite hard for that compared to others that I've spoke to as well from that was in our class. Um, so um, it's more the seminar classes, which are smaller again, but there's maybe six of you. Um, same with the work groups, there's only maybe four or five in each work group. And that's where more of the learning happens in the seminars and the work groups compared to the lectures. Right. Um, okay, with my experience with lectures is different because um, first off, we get the lectures uploaded onto uh, a system like Moodle, uh, it's called Blackboard. So we get um, the lectures uploaded maybe three, four days before the actual lecture. So, and then you can access it and then uh, have, have a read or, or just um, see what the lecture's on. So uh, if you access it before the actual lecture, you can go through it and write notes on what you understand on your own, which is what I do. I, I download the lecture. Uh, when, when uni was still open, I used to print because I study better when I, I'm actually holding like a physical uh, a document rather than online, because that's hard for me. So I would print the lectures and just go through it, put notes on the on on the uh, paper that I've printed, and then when I go into the lecture, so that I'm not busy trying to write too many notes, I try and listen in on what the lecturer is saying and what they're weighing in on. And if there's something interesting that they say, maybe on a particular slide that I, I missed when I was doing my own studying, and then I can just put that note on on the actual paper. So what I've done is I have a file for which I learned from Zara. I have a file from for every module. So in that file, I have my lectures printed for every week or uh, whenever we have the lectures. And I have notes that I've done pre-lecture pre, uh, time and I have notes that I've added during the lecture. And then after all, uh, when, when that whole thing is done, when I, when I get a bit of time, um, I just go back. And now I have uh, my own notes and notes that I got from from uh, the lecture and, and just try and understand the whole concept. So that's what I do with lectures. So we get our lecture slides a couple of days before class. Also at the start of term, or the start of semester, we get a handbook um, for every subject. And that will tell you the structure of the 10 weeks, basically, that you're going to be learning. It'll tell you every lecture, who the lecturer is going to be, and what books we should be reading for that particular lecture. So what I try and do is I will read the lecture slides before I do the before I go to the lecture, um, do some of the reading, just kind of skim over it because you'll probably need to read it again afterwards when you've got a better understanding of the subject. Um, in terms of the, the actual lecture, I try and do what Tandy does. I try and listen and not take too many notes because I feel that you can miss a lot if you take notes. Any information they're going to tell you is going to be on the slide anyway. Though I will take some notes um, and I tend to type them as opposed to write them down. Um, I just feel it's easier and it's quicker to write things, quicker to, to get it onto a bit of electronic paper as opposed to an actual piece of paper. 
Um, we're allowed to ask questions, we're allowed to put our hand up. Um, some some of the times, the lecture, depending on your lecturer, they'll actually allocate maybe five minutes or ten minutes during the actual lecture where they'll ask you to interact with other students to discuss a topic. Um, and then they'll ask what people found. Um, at the end of lectures, they encourage you to go up and see them if you want to. Lectures can be quite busy. In first and second year, there was sometimes two or three hundred people in my lectures. Um, but it just varies on the subject you're in. And obviously, that the numbers will dwindle down as you progress through uni and the classes get smaller. Um, after the lecture, I like to read my notes the same day. And then I, I always keep the notes I, I, I collated um, during the lecture, but I then try and condense them down um, just so it digests better. And I feel like I take it in more if I rewrite it 